Hi, hello friends. Very good evening. This is Nagarajan from the Market Decoder channel. Welcome to the pre-market video. So tomorrow is going to be the expiry, that two monthly expiry. Time is around uh, 9.24 p.m. Wednesday. So tomorrow what, what is going to happen is, uh, is a big question. So almost like all the global markets are down. Uh, few are mildly down and few are a negative uh, from one to one and a half percent. So what will happen to Nifty is definitely Nifty good uh, came, Nifty made a good comeback and closed at 15,799. So what can happen tomorrow is that is what we are going to analyze now. As it is a very late night, I haven't started anything or did any pre uh, analysis before this video. So let's uh, analyze right now. So what has happened today is uh, very clear. So go to the FIB as I told like definitely FIB will be helping us and today what we are seeing here is yeah so FIB made a low of uh, 15,687 and it is very close to 0.5 which is uh, 15,649 that is what that was the uh, that is the uh, 1.5 of the FIB. So what can we expect is today it was a good bullish candle with a good volume. So definitely what can happen is the rally can continue and the PCR value, the put call ratio is one above, one and above. So definitely there can be a, some good momentum towards the upside. That is my prediction. So what can happen, our stop loss is going to be uh, 15,583 in daily closure so that the rally will uh, reverse from here to the downside else we are really good we can make some good momentum in the upside that is all we can see in uh, daily so in we'll go more on to one hour chart so one hour we saw a, a, there was a very good gap down but still there was a continuous momentum and the last one hour there was some sort of bearishness seen and again there was a uh, last 15 minutes it was a doji so what is uh, what we are witnessing here is it is again a small retracement if you connect all these lines if you connect all the tops that will give you an answer so definitely market just fell down just because of this resistance if this is resistance is taken out maybe like a um, gap up and then we are really good to again go towards 15,900 plus and as I told <coughs> 15,545 will be the uh, showstopper for us for the bullish rally and we will be reversing towards the downtrend we will see like what is happening in 15 minutes so 15 minutes also the trend seems to be down so it made a high, it made a low high higher low higher high higher low higher high then it made a top with a bearish evening star then it made uh, it came down like high low lower high and lower low so the trend reversed in the minor time frame at 15800 but what we can see is it is definitely if you mark or if you use the FIB again from this bottom towards the top, it is exactly 0.5. So again, the rally can continue from here. It is all depends on tomorrow's opening. If the tomorrow's opening is above 15,860 plus, then we can see some uh, fall and again there can be a rise. So tomorrow is going to be a very cautious day because a huge amount of calls and puts has been rolled today that is why market didn't uh, close above 15,800 so let's see like what is uh, what is seen in the, the open interest chart so open interest chart so 16,000 seems to be a very very crucial resistance with a huge amount of call option return at uh, 16,000 and 15,800 as I told like uh, it has been a tough competition tough fight between the bulls and bears and 15,700 seems to be a very good result, uh, support. Today there was a huge, huge uh, put rating has been uh, developed at 15,700. That is why market was able to sustain even after such a huge gap down. So 15,500 remains a strong support. 15,700 seems uh, to be a good support. And 15,800 is a tough fight area. So market should close below nor should not close below 15,700 and it will not close above 16,000 that is going to be the 300 points for the tomorrow's rally yeah that's all the, for nifty's prediction for the monthly expiry
So what will happen tomorrow in Bank Nifty? Bank Nifty is a, didn't perform up to the level um, when compared to the Nifty. Because if you see uh, Nifty, it made a huge gap down, almost like 300 plus points gap down. And it, it uh, the whole day was, the momentum was between uh, 33, uh, 180 and uh, 33, 400. That's a, that's a maximum level 200, 200 uh, less than a uh, 0.7 percentage of Bank Nifty was the momentum throughout the day. And exactly it has closed at 0 0.618. This is where the GAN and FIB is meeting here. So definitely, if tomorrow, if there is a bullish candle, then definitely what can happen is, the, uh, again, the rally can continue again. Yeah, so that's the prediction in daily because it is a spinning top or it is a doji. At 0.618, it is always bullish. So please do take positions if we are getting a bullish rally from here. So stop loss for the current rally is going to be uh, 150 points from 33,236. Uh, th uh, so this is going to be 150 points uh, below this, which is going to be around uh, 33,050 will be the uh, will be the stop loss for the bullish rally. Below 33,050, uh, we'll be seeing a bearish rally. So if we are So if we are uh, safe with these numbers, 33,230, so definitely again the bullish rally can be uh, seen in Bank Nifty. Definitely it is going to be sideways in 1 hour and uh, 15 minutes, so whole day it was like yesterday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all three days has been a, a very good uh, sideways, option sellers would have made some good money throughout the day and uh, tomorrow can be a trending day because three days it was a uh, sideways so if we are closing above this 33,412 in one hour chart so definitely what can happen is we can see some bullish rally yeah the bullish rally will be um, will be towards 33,665 and uh, 33,776 that is the rally we can say so if tomorrow 33400 is taken out then the uh, next resistance is going to be around uh, 33513 and uh, 337 uh, 660 and 770 is going to be the levels we can watch yeah so completely this is going to be a sideways if you have a close look we can sense a good parallel channel here so we are in the bottom of the parallel channel so what can happen is the channel will definitely what uh, if we are giving, getting some support here in the bottom of the channel so again what can happen is it will continue the rally upside if the channel is getting broken then we will see a downside moment if this 30 uh, 2660 is uh, taken out then definitely a long pending bearish rally is will again start yeah so we are very close uh, to the make or break level 33,050 is going to be a level to watch. If that is safeguarded, then definitely we'll look for, we can look for some good, good bullish momentum in Bank Nifty. We'll move on to the open interest chart. So 34,000 seems to be a huge, huge resistance for this uh, monthly expiry. So third, above 33,400 uh, closure in one hour, we'll see 33,660 and 700. If we are close to those levels, then testing 34,000 will not be a big issue. So there can be a momentum towards 34,000. So trade very cautiously. 3350 is going to be your ultimate stop loss, just 150 points from the market closure. That is uh, around, uh, we are uh, nearby uh, 33,260. So stop loss is very small and the profit is going to be very huge. So trial the stop loss and make some good trade tomorrow. That is all from uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty uh, pre-market report. We'll move on to one stock. Uh, so we are looking at Bajaj FinServe. Bajaj FinServe has made a strong rally in the downside from around like uh, from 19,325 is like towards 11,109. 
so here itself right now we are in support so if this line is getting broken so if this support 11100 is getting broken then what can we can see is another 200 uh, 2000 points rally can be seen in the down bottom so 9590 uh, will be a good area to support and this is going to be our uh, unforgettable uh, covid stop so that will definitely act as a support and this whole zone 10200 to 9500 will be a levels to watch if we are getting a reversal at uh, 11100 right now we can uh, definitely go with uh, take some positions if not wait till 9500 and 600 levels definitely we'll be getting a reversal and the target is going to be around 15000 levels so it is going to be another 6000 points rally the rally will be very sharp because the sh fall was really really very sharp uh, fall so this is will be the this will be the target around 15450 and this will be the stop loss 8300 will be the stop loss stop loss and this is going to be the entry point around uh, 9600 levels 9600 to 700 levels and this is where we get our target 15000 levels so and it is extremely oversold almost like uh, for, uh, 45 to 50 percent has already fallen so we can expect some good rally from here if we are getting a chance this is a weekly chart so at least we need uh, uh, a reversal at least with four hours candle so look for such candles and uh, take portions small portion is enough because it is going to be a strong rally very few positions will also give a huge profit in this so thanks for watching the video if the technicals uh, technicals explained here are really really good and if you're, if you are getting satisfied with these videos and these levels you if you're watching it and if you are uh, getting to uh, getting some trades please do subscribe and support the channel and share with your friends thanks for watching the video have a nice day take care and bye bye